Played back in. He's in acres of straight leap. Oh, it's in! And that may just do it. Today, the players are being escorted by boys from a local team in this city. Well, hello and welcome for the first time this season to everybody around hello, the world. Everybody. And we and have for you a clash match. of two teams with very similar intentions. A statement win at the expense of the other would be the ideal scenario for both. A flying start is certainly required. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight. All in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? This guy, Traore, has had an interesting journey to the top. As someone whose success didn't come easy, despite all the raw talent he's got. Now... Mbappe! What a wonderful goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. The breakaway clinical and clean, and the finish unerring. Well, talking about being hit on the break, the ball was in their net before they could even organise their defence. It was Mbappe! Not the best distribution from the keeper. Gets his pass away. And the counter is on. A searching ball that into space. Kamavinga. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. Pull past that. Sloppy. And it's Beckham. That pass was loose and it's been intercepted. Played out to the left flank. And now the breakaway. Rashford going full steam ahead down the left flank. Oh, he's defended very well against those tricky feet. Oh, that's a key interception. Looking tidy in possession here. Marcos Alonso. In comes the cross. Well read. And the danger is averted. 
He's played it long. Lukaku. No, that's been intercepted. It's a pretty loose pass. Juventus have turned up with a, a human blockade. This is top defence. Marcos Alonso. Paris Saint-Germain are seeing plenty of the ball, but for now they trail. He is through here! Oh, he's put a shade too much on that. Now who's going to be first to this? Now it's Adama Traore. Back in possession. Adama Traore! Danger is cut out. Played out wide into space. Oh, that's been cut out, well played. Final ball not quite right, and his teammates are irritated at that. And it's Lukaku, long ball out to the right. Great work on the overlap. Expertly cut out, really nicely done. It's a throw in. Played back in. Shapes the shoot! It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. That's a throw. Back in once, in he flies! And through to the goalkeeper. Rashford. Gets away from his opponent. No, no way through there. Great hit! Big relief, it just needed better contact. That sloppy. Amaya. Oh, good ball. And it's played forward. Now it's Adama Traore. Well, they can break here. Moved on forwards. Oh, well played. That has snuffed out the danger. There will be pass one is coming off in time. succession here. It's a pretty loose pass. And the keeper's got it again. Chance to break. Oh, that's well spotted. And there is the half-time whistle. So there you have it. A close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments. And we're underway again. Paris Saint-Germain need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can overcome. Goes in for the header! Decent enough try. And they can counter here. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Raul, well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. He's got away. Punched away. Good spot, he's seen the run. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. That's a decent ball. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. And it's Adama Traore. That's a good intervention. That was what he had to make in the face of danger that was growing. Oh, he'd have done well to reach that.
Juventus are totally dominant in the middle of the park and no way through zone. Now it's Raul. Swung over into the middle. The attendance for this match was 43,886. It's Lukaku. It's Lukaku. Now it's Aubameyang. Here's a man in form. Out to the left it goes. Oh, and he's broken the line here. He's taking on the lot of them. That's great strength on the ball. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Substitution. Now there are plenty in the middle waiting for this. Paris Saint-Germain are definitely going about this the right way. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. Spot on, Peter. Can he finish? And it's in! Paris Saint-Germain are back on level terms. But they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Sends it forward. It's a good foot in there. Now there's the clearance. Played back to the goalkeeper. Out to the right, Amaya. Obama Yang. Obama Yang. And that's a real chance missed. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could... Oh, Bamiang! Oh, no, that could be a costly miss. No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Don't you just love the level of intensity here? Neither is prepared to back down, and, and to be honest, that's how it should be. And he's in a really good position here now. The ball is loose and the chase is on. Drilled in low. Paris Saint-Germain showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Played back in. He's in acres of... Great leap! Oh, it's in! And that may just do it! Great header, made it look easy. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. The goal scorer for Paris Saint-Germain after 85 minutes is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Substitution in progress. Left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Looking for the and runner. Has been He's indicated. in plenty of space here. Oh, great shot! He's had a hit! And that's caused a worry or two. And there goes the final whistle. Paris Saint-Germain can celebrate now. They have exactly what they craved. Your reflections then, Jim.
Paris Saint-Germain really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win, such a, such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess it'll all go a little quiet now. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening. And a quick announcement today that memorabilia from today's match is now on sale in the stadium hall. We'll